What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, listen, use your haters as stepping stones. Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but are subscribed. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and help support the channel. Also, guys, we are doing a giveaway at 15k subscribers, guys. All you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification, and you went in like swimmer, you dig? Comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I got you guys. You guys have been showing me so much love, and I really do appreciate that. Now, before we start this video, guys, like I always state, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. My perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing, and if you're not growing, then what are you doing? Also, guys, I love hearing the stories, the messages. You guys are such a big inspiration. When I read the comments, I literally see the positivity, the growth. I literally have the best community on YouTube. And if you guys have something more personal to tell me, let me know on Instagram. I do respond. I might be a couple days late, but I do respond. And if you guys do not agree with what I'm saying, please, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. I got an open mind. This is an open-minded channel. Now, question for y'all, bro. Before we even start this video, question. How many of y'all know that y'all really got haters? How many of y'all know that y'all got people that's actually every single day, they come onto your YouTube, they come onto your, you know what I mean, your Instagram, for those of you guys that use Instagram, Facebook, all type of stuff, and they hating on you for no reason. You just being yourself. Let me know in the comments if y'all got haters, bro. And I know most of y'all do, especially if you're working on yourself. Now check me out, listen. For those of you guys that have been working on your mind, your body, and your soul, you've been elevating, you've been raising your consciousness, you've been doing everything that you need to do to raise your vibration. Now listen, there's so many people out here, bro. So many people, friends, family, mom, dad, sister, brother, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? That's low key, some of some people that's around you are hating on you. Whole time they say that they want the best for you, but they really don't. You feel me? And not everybody's like that, bro. And if you got people around you that, that you feel as if that, that are haters, you shouldn't be around them. I only surround myself around people that I feel are, that, that really want genuinely love, that they, they genuinely love me, that genuinely want the best for me, that genuinely care about me. I don't like I don't like being around people that I feel like I gotta always watch my back around. You feel what I'm saying? So the people that I do have, the small circle that I do have, I trust them. You know what I'm saying? Until otherwise, until they prove me otherwise. You feel me? Now listen. Y'all got goals, y'all got dreams, y'all got aspirations. So does everybody else in this world. You just chose to actually go after your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. You chose to go after your dreams. You chose to pursue your dreams. You chose to, you know what I'm saying, go after what it is that you want in life. And that's a tough thing. That's a tough mentality. That's a, like literally getting your mind around to the fact that you want to go and do these things. Just knowing that it's going to be a hard task to reach your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. It's going to be hard. A lot of people don't like that. Because a lot of people love to a lot of people love to tell you what you can and what you can't do because they don't they're afraid to go after what they want. You know what I'm saying? They're afraid to go after what you, what they want. So what they'll do is they'll put their insecurities, they'll put their their goals, their dreams and tell you what you should do because that's what they want to do, but they're too afraid to go and do it. They're too afraid to go and chase it. Not chase it because you know I, I hate using the word chase. I do not like using the word chase because when you're chasing it, you're still running, you running and it's still running away from you. So you manifested it. You working hard for it. And a lot of people are afraid to do those things. So you got haters. You know what I'm saying? And throughout your whole entire life, bro, you, you don't have some haters. You don't have some people. And some of y'all have mom and dad as haters. I see, bro, I'm telling y'all, I, I never thought I would see a mom be a hater of another, of her daughter. I, I never thought I would see that. But you got to realize that it's not your parents' faults, man. It's not just parents' faults because some of y'all's parents weren't taught to be a mom. They weren't raised to be a mom. They weren't raised to, you know what I'm saying, how to how to show love. So you can't blame those people. You know what I'm saying? The thing, the thing that matters the most is that what it is that you're doing right now, for those of you guys that are young, for those of you guys that are still healing yourself, your mind, your body, and your soul, just know that you are breaking the generational curse. It's making you stronger. It's making you a whole different person. Without that struggle, you wouldn't be the person that you are today. So you're using that. You're using those haters. You're using that 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 hate that you got from your parents, that you got from your mom, that you got from your dad, that you got from your cousin, and you're using that as a stepping stone. It's nothing wrong with the hate because you turn that hate into positivity. We look at it as a, being a negative thing. We look at you know hate as being a negative thing when whole time is really not whole time if you really transfer that energy you know everything is energy based guys right everything is energy so when you take that negative energy and you turn that and you flip it into positive energy look at how everything works 
you gotta think of everything as a, a, a glass full. You gotta think of everything full, not glass half empty, not glass half full. No, no, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, bro, my shit, I'm happy with what I got. Fuck a half full, fuck a half empty. No, it's, it's perfect where it's at, it's good. It's good, that's where it's supposed to be, that's where it's supposed to be. Your life, you, some of y'all had the rough, some of y'all had tough lives, some of y'all was in, really in the trenches. And I hate, I don't even like using that word, I don't never use that word, but I just said it because it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But some of y'all was really living like trash. Some of y'all still to this day living paycheck to paycheck. Y'all parents was living paycheck to paycheck. But then something flipped in your head and you was like, I'm not trying to do this no more. I'm not. I, I seen what my parents went through. I seen all the, all the, the trauma. I seen all these things that they went through. And I'm not gonna be just like them. So you use their pain. You use their struggles. You use that that childhood hurt, and you turn that into something special. You turn that into something meaningful. That's what you did. You turn that into something. You know what I'm saying? Extravagant. You use your creativity, your genius, you know what I'm saying? Your parents telling you that you can't do something into motion. Y'all ever had a parent? Y'all ever had a friend? Y'all ever had somebody tell y'all that y'all can't do something? And y'all was like, y'all was so determined to prove them wrong? You use them as a stepping stone, that crutch. And you know what I'm saying? Eventually, when that person really gave you your props, you was like, damn, like, what do I have? Like, how do I, how do I turn? They're, they're, they used to always hate on me, but now they loving what I'm doing. So how do I, how do I keep on using now their love as fuel? You know what I'm saying? You got to use both sides of the energy. You know what I'm saying? You got to use both sides of it. This person was hating on you. Use that as fuel to get, where, get to where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You use that fuel to get to the, the position that you're in right now. And now that they're showing love, you, you, you're trying to figure out what is it that I do? How do I, how do I, how do I take, I, you know, I was, I was fiending for the, for the hate. For me to be able to get to where I need to be. Sometimes, guys, the hate get you so far. And you got to throw it over your shoulder like a grain of salt. Throw it over your shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Like a grain of salt. And you got to keep it pushing. You just got to use that as, as your motion to just grind. Just to, just to get to where you want to be. Some friends is going to hate on you. Some Not friends, because I don't consider them friends. Some people are gonna hate on you just by who you are, by just being having your character intact, by having your morals and your, you know what I'm saying? Real, I'm talking about real morals. I'm, my friends, bro, I, you know, I felt so good the other day because my friends were like, bro, Daryl probably the only one that really got his morals intact out of the friend group, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got some friends that you hang around, right? And they just do like, they off the wall type stuff. They, they do off the wall and don't get it twisted. I still am, um, I don't know how I can say it, but I still have my moments, right? But just know that I won't compromise my morals. I won't compromise my integrity when it's all said and done. And when they gave me my compliments, when they gave me my flowers right then and there, I was like, bro, I appreciate that. But throughout my life, it's a it's a lot of friends that have told me that, you know what I'm saying, you're not this, you're not this, you're not, you know what I'm saying, with the whoop. And I had to prove a lot of people wrong. Still to this day, I'm still proving people wrong. You know what I'm saying? The people that's closest to me. And I use that as fuel, I use that as my stepping stone to continue to grind to where I need to be. I'm still nowhere close to where I wanna be, but I just know that I'm in the position right now that I need to be in. Sometimes it takes a little hate. And that's kinda crazy because you gotta realize that fear, you know what I'm saying, um, hatred, is a is a real big fuel motivator it's a bit it fuels that soul it fuels that spirit that hate and when a, when people are hating on you when people are literally discouraging you not to try something new when people are discouraging you to not go after your dreams your goals your aspirations it gives you some type of strength you know what i'm saying it gives you those stepping stones that brick that foundation to continue to grow and every time you prove them wrong it gives you another like another boost to just prove them wrong again because it gives you that dopamine rush. You feel what I'm saying? Don't let it conquer you though. You gotta realize that even though you're using that fear as stepping stones, eventually it's gonna get to the point to where people are gonna see that you continue to prove them wrong. And some people are not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not gonna hate you no more. A lot of people won't, you know what I'm saying, be trying to ask you how you did it, how you, what you doing to, to get to where you wanna be. You know, and they're going to they gonna try to be nice, nice to you again. They're going to try to be cool with you. 
But it's still gonna be some of those people that's gonna be left behind. That's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? That's still, until the day they die, they still ain't gonna be satisfied with what you're doing with your life, even though it's your life. I don't know why people were so worried about what it is that you're doing. You, you, tell me right now in the comments, why, why do y'all, why do y'all feel as if so many people care about what it is that you got going on, rather than what it is that they got going on? Until you realize this, let me let me let me tell y'all something right now. Until you stop trying to care about others that don't care about you, until you stop getting out of other, until you until you get out of other people's business, you will not grow. You will not succeed. You will not accomplish your goals you because you got too much time looking on social media you got too much time looking at their instagram looking at their facebook looking at their you know what i'm saying social media is trying to figure out what their life is about whole time you got your own life to live worry about yourself and i'm talking to the haters right now that's that's that watch my videos because there'd be people that be in my comments and i and you know what i do to y'all I, I hurt your comments because bro I'm doing what I do. I say take everything with a grain of salt. And if you don't believe, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, hey, I'm open-minded to hear what you gotta say. But you gotta leave all that 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 bull, cause you you would never say it to my face. You feel me? So listen, take you know what I'm saying. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, man. You guys have been going crazy. Take care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Go outside, get some sun, get some nature, drink y'all's water, eat y'all's fruits and vegetables, plant y'all's foods if y'all can. If y'all can't, so be it. Just make sure y'all staying healthy. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from that processed foods. Y'all been smashing that like button and I really do appreciate that, man. Let's try to get 300 likes on this video. We are doing a giveaway. Let's say, I'm saying 500. We are gonna get 500 v uh, likes on this video. 500 likes on this video. I got the pranks, I got the, uh, <laughs> I got the pranks, I got the, <laughs> Damn, I don't even know what I'm about to say. I got it, man. Listen. We are doing a giveaway at 15K subscribers, guys. All you guys gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification, and you win it like swimmer, you dig? <laughs> I got the pranks, I got the vlogs, I got what you need. All you need to do is subscribe to D. I'm out of here, man. Peace.